Hey trophies, it's Sally. I'm gonna give you a quick stomach vacuum tutorial. I did give one at the end of class um, on uh, the Thursday workout that just happened, but it's Thursday's class uh, in the 60 minute membership. I gave a stomach vacuum tutorial at the end of that class. So in case um, you wanna watch that at the end of the class and then you can do some stomach vacuums there, you're welcome to, but here's a quick tutorial for you. So what we wanna accomplish when we do stomach vacuums is we want to put a pressure against our transverse abdominis, our stomach, our digestions, our colon, our core organs. We wanna put a pressure against them and it helps to smooth out. It's just, it helps to push things around. It helps to smooth the tummy out. It supposedly helps to flatten the stomach. And so it's, it's just a, a cool, unique way to train the inner abdominals. So what we need to do is exhale the air out of our lungs so that then we can suck our tummies in and push that, put that pressure on our tummies without having any air in the lungs in the way. So the best way that I have found to do it is to either be lying flat on your back so you're in this horizontal position or get into a tabletop position so your stomach is flat facing down. So that could be having your hands on or or elbows on a stool. You can also be at an upward angle. And so what we need to do is exhale all of the air out through our nose because we're gonna be doing it through the nose. Um, people can do it through their mouth. You can do it through your mouth, but I'm gonna choose to do it through my nose. So I do a little inhale and then exhale all the air out, but I don't over push it out. I just exhale out as much as I can comfortably. And then once it's out, I close my throat and I pull my tummy in. When I pull my tummy in, we're gonna notice that when we do it over and over again, it's gonna, we're gonna be able to feel pulling, how we pull our tummy in. We're gonna be able to do it differently. We're gonna be able to do it better and better as we practice more and more. And so the main goal is to make it easy and that's why bending over I think really helps. So we inhale and exhale, close the throat, and then we pull our tummy in. And if it helps to stretch out our tummies by putting a little bit of an arch in the back, that can help. It's almost like you're stretching your stomach out from top to bottom and you're pulling apart this way. And then you're gonna notice that you might even, if you're feeling safe and you're feeling stable, you're gonna notice that you're gonna be able to keep pulling back and back and back. And if you're running out of breath, you need to let the air back in your nose and catch your breath and then do another, another rep so that you're not stressed out because we're gonna have plenty of opportunities to do stomach vacuums. And so we don't need to go balls out, you know, sorry, we don't need to go red zone um, in any stomach vacuum, make it simple. So I like to just do an easy inhale, easy exhale, and then hold and then suck in. And then when I'm ready, inhale through the nose and exhale and then let my stomach relax and catch my breath. Now, when you're in this stomach vacuum, you can, like I said, be in this stretched position or on your back laying on your bed and you can stand up and you can stretch from the stand up position. And so your feet, while you're in that sucked in pullback, you, you can notice, you might notice that your feet start to grip the floor and in that grip, you're stretching your stomach out. You're pulling your bum back, you're tilting back or you're pulling up. You can bend your knees, feel your body, explore how you need to move around so that you're really pushing in against your internal organs, your internal, your transverse abdominals. And then the last thing is, which I didn't mention in the end of that live, is that once you get the hang of it, then you can potentially bring it onto the rebounder. So when you're in that pulled back stomach vacuum, you could potentially put a little bit of a bounce in it. When I do that, I do notice that it really sucks the air out of me and sometimes it, it makes me have to grab some air fast. So I don't bounce often when I do it, but I can see that that being the next step 
will really intensify and possibly progress the stomach vacuums. So I think it's cool that we have the option to move in that direction. How many do we do? Just do as many as you want, meaning one to three to five, up to 10 and just do them in the morning time. If you're feeling like you wanna do them more often throughout the day, you can notice how it feels to do it when you have food in your stomach or not. And then also in the morning, you might feel, if you haven't taken a bowel movement, you might feel pressure in your stomach because you do have you know, some eliminating to do. And so when you do your stomach vacuum, it might feel weird because you still haven't eliminated, but it's okay. You can still do a stomach vacuum before you've had a bowel movement. It might feel better to do it after you've had a bowel movement. And then you can decide if, or, you know, uh, test out whether you like to do them with or without food in your stomach. So it's a personal journey and it's just a cool way to get in there and put some force against our internal abdominals in a different way than the force that we put against our cells by jumping instead. So it's cool. All right. Okay. I hope this tutorial was helpful and, um, enjoy your stomach vacuums every morning where we're going strong for February. So check in every morning and we'll all keep each other accountable and make sure to heart all of the, if you see somebody check in with an SV, make sure to like there so that you're showing your support and then they'll show you support back. Okay. All right. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you um, obviously in your next jumping workout and every morning for stomach vacuums. Okay. Bye-bye.